I'm the author of Japanese Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best soba noodles. People often say that soba noodles are really difficult to make. That's just a myth. And I'm going to show you how to do it today. We are going to make soba noodles using buckwheat flour, a little bit of all-purpose flour, and what I'm going to do is sift it together. And I'm going to add water, and I'm not going to pour it all at once. It's going to be gradual, and then you start tossing. Soba noodles is one of those very unique noodles where people go for the seasonality of it, for the freshness of it. I'm pretty much done with the tossing. At this point, I'm ready to start doing my wax on, wax off. So wax on, wax off. You know that movie, right? What was that movie called? Karate Kid. So wax on, wax off. I really started making noodles as an exercise for restoration, for just restoring my soul just to slow down a little bit because I, I was a multitasker. Uh, and I wanted to just focus on one thing slowly. Like me, I'm slightly ADD. I just, I always have a list, but this one is just water and flour. And you, you need to pay attention to it. And you get rewarded with this beautiful noodle. So see how it's starting to make these balls? See these balls? Nothing sticks to the bowl because there is not much gluten in it. corners and what you need to do is you could just eye it and bring your dough out and try to make the four corners cleaner. I also started talking to farmers and scientists who work with grains and I found out that farmers in the United States have been actually growing buckwheat for hundreds of years. You know even now uh, George Washington grew buckwheat, Thomas Jefferson grew buckwheat. Buckwheat was an important crop. Okay, so tripod with the weight on your thumb, and here he goes. You could find a rhythm. It's almost like horse trotting. It's the sound of a horse trot. So, and then you can trim it. So this is where you're gonna shake off the extra flour and then you're gonna lay it out. This is gonna be a noodle served in a hot soup with mushrooms. So it's a very basic dashi, and I'm gonna add the soup. And then you could garnish it um, I like to put a little bit of scallions and yuzu. And we say itadakimasu when we begin eating, so itadakimasu. Mm. Delicious. Slurping is not bad manners, by the way. Make noise when you eat noodles. <laughs> and there's your soba noodles. Thank you so much. <laughs>